All right, now this one right here, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to refer to my math uh, notepad because there's some uh, numbers that I just can't reel off the top of my head. Doesn't matter. This is about the concept and understanding. Okay, here's a question, a word problem. Uh, you are a shirt company or something like that, and you want to, obviously if you're in business, you want to uh, make the most for the, less, the least cost. That's, that's what business is about, get the most out of the least cost and it'll result in the best amount of profit for your pocket and for your summer vacations to Hawaii if you want. Okay, or Quebec. Okay, here is what you've got. Here are the facts. You have two types of shirts that you sell, a deluxe model and a standard model. Here's your cost for your deluxe, eight bucks for material plus 30 bucks labor. Here's your standard model, five bucks material plus 12 bucks labor, okay? Um, you are allowed to budget on a month, seventeen hundred on material and fifty-seven hundred on labor. Um, this is the facts of ah, my stupid cell phone. This is the facts of the uh, the question. So now we're going to think about how we can build this. Okay. First of all, a month budget. This looks like a total. Okay. Let's look at this here. Seventeen hundred on material. Our total. We should recognize that that means something will equal our total. Okay. Likewise, something will equal our total on labor. Okay. Okay. Now I'm oh, 35. Where did I get that from? 57. Okay. Um, I'm just going to mark this with a little M so I just just so I remember material and labor. Um, okay. Well, let's now let's look at what is it going to take to get that. Okay. 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 Material. Ooh, material. Material. We're looking for how many shirts of each type will give us the best bang for our buck as producers. So we know that deluxe model is eight bucks per material, standard model is five bucks per material. We don't know how many of each we're gonna do, but we know that it's eight bucks per crack. So we can say it's eight bucks for the the first one, deluxe. So that's the variable, that's like the X, and the standard plus Five dollars is the standard, and that uh, this will be for the standard. Okay, so that'll be like the y, right? Like eight x plus five y would equal seventeen hundred. I'm using D and S so I don't forget that I'm talking about deluxe and standard. Okay. Similarly, uh, this is talking about labor, so let's look at our labor costs. Deluxe is thirty bucks per labor, so um, thirty dollars. There's dollars here. Thirty dollars times uh, however many deluxe shirts we use, and this is uh, twelve bucks times however many uh, standard shirts we do. Okay. So we took this is the key here. What we did, how we set it up. If we have something that looks like a total figure, stick an equal sign in front of it because something creates a total. Okay. We were talking about material. So we figured we would best look at our material, right? This is the material cost. Material cost equals our material cost. This here is our labor cost. Plus our labor cost equals our total labor cost. Okay? It takes practice to get used to setting up these questions. Okay? This is just like anything else. It's a system of equations. It's like x plus y equals blah, blah, blah. x plus y, different number, equals blah, blah, blah. Same thing. System of equations. Okay. Now, I'll clean this up a little bit here. I'm going to use XY. I like using XY. I'll revert back to DNS later. I have this 8x plus 5y equals 1700. 30x plus 12y equals 5700. Okay. I know my camera's running out of time. I'm going to set up on the next video. Okay.